Have you heard the term revolving door as applied to this? Yes. What does that mean? It is referring to um, personnel going from the <coughs> industry to work for the agency or vice versa from the agency to the industry or occasionally 360 degrees when I come from the industry, work at the agency, and then go back to work directly or indirectly for the industry, either as a direct employee or for some organizational law firm that's funded by the industry. Well, what about Chrysler specifically? I mean, have you ever known anyone who went back and forth between NHTSA and Chrysler? Um, yes, I've known of the revolving door as it applies to Chrysler, yes. Uh, can you give us an example? Um, several, sure. Um, well, uh, Jacqueline Glassman, or Jackie. Can we move to Jackie unless there's some connection with this case and the allegations in this matter? Your Honor, there was this <coughs> investigation in this case. The jury's heard all about it. Uh, plans are entitled to talk about the extent to which uh, people go back and forth between NHTSA and Chrysler. Uh, Glassman's going to be such an example. All right, I want to rule the objection. Um, when I was at the agency, uh, I remember Jackie Glassman was a senior staff attorney at uh, Chrysler. She'd be involved in some negotiations about uh, compliance issues and civil penalties as a Chrysler attorney. And after I left the agency, uh, she became the chief counsel of NHTSA. That's a political appointed position. It's not a careerist position. She became the chief counsel of NHTSA and was actually the acting administrator for a while. And then she left NHTSA and went to work for um, uh, law firm, it's not called Hogan Levels, it used to be Hogan and Hartson, and uh, they merged with the level firm, so it's not called Hogan Levels, that represents various regulated parties before the agency. There's three folks in particular, uh, Mr. Cam, I wanted to ask you about. Uh, the first is uh, David Stripper. Do you know who that is? Um, yes, he, he's the immediate past administrator of NHTSA. Now, you said the administrator. Is that is that a big role? Well, that's what the capital A is. It's actually the head of the agency. Is he still the administrator? No. Where'd he go? Um, he went to work for um, the Venable Law Firm. Is that Venable LLP? Yes. Does Venable LLP have anything to do with Chrysler? Well, they're registered lobbyists for Oh, uh, how about someone named uh, Nancy Bell? Do you know who that is? Oh, sure. Yeah, um, N Nancy was an attorney in the chief counsel's office. She actually arrived there not long before my retirement. She had the office right across from me in the uh, just a you know, like a five or six foot wide interior hallway, she was right across from me. Um, so Nancy worked at uh, NHTSA. I saw her name on rulemaking notices like the standard 301 and other standards. Um, and Nancy left NHTSA and went to work for the Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers. What is that? Now that's the major trade association representing um, large auto manufacturers, including Chrysler. They're very active in um, regulatory matters interfacing with, with NHTSA. And, uh, what about after she left the Alliance of Auto Manufacturers? Yeah, um, I think she went briefly to AARP and then she went to work directly for Chrysler. Uh, what about someone named Erica Jones? Do you know who that is? Oh, I know, I know her very well, yes. Um, Did she ever work at NHTSA? Yes, she did. Um, she started out as like a special assistant to the deputy administrator, political appointee, not a careerist, and then became the chief counsel of NHTSA. It was actually my second level supervisor at, at NHTSA during one administration, and then the administration ended and political appointees have to, have to leave. They turn over with administrations. And she went to work for a law firm, I think it used to be called Mayor Brown and Platt, now it's Mayor Brown. And I would, when I was still at the, at the agency for many, many years after Erica left the agency, um, I would see her at a meeting. We'd be meeting with the manufacturer over an enforcement matter, and Erica would be there as a representative of the of the company that we regulated. 
And more, more recently, she actually was, um, she took my deposition in this case. She was an attorney for Chrysler in this case. She's an attorney for Chrysler in this case? One of the attorneys, yes. In Walden against Chrysler? Uh, yes, she took my deposition on her own. Would you put up plaintiff's 302, please, Mr. Post? Uh, do you know what this is, Mr. Cam, that we're looking at? Yes, um, this is what we call a motion for admission pro hoc vice. It's like, um, in her case, she, she was not a member of the Georgia Bar, but was asking the court to admit her just for this one case. It says, comes now defendant Chrysler Group LLC, and asks for her admission. Is that right? That's what it says. Is this the same Erica Jones that used to work at NHTSA? Oh, absolutely, yes. 